Welcome to our channel. This video covers the respiratory risk, 20 questions and answers from the CITB book, Health, Safety and Environment Test for Operatives and Specialists. This video is part of a series covering all the questions and answers from this booklet. A link has been provided in the top right corner of this video to continue with the next video in the series. For your information, the actual CSCS test is 45 minutes long. You will need to answer at least 45 out of 50 questions correctly to be successful in the test. Wishing you all the best. Thank you and let's get started. Question 1. You need to use a power tool to cut or grind materials. Give two ways to control the dust from getting into the air. A. Work slowly and carefully. B. Fit a dust extractor or collector to the machine. C. Wet cutting. D. Keep the area clean and tidy. E. Wear a dust mask or respirator. The correct answers are. B. Fit a dust extractor or collector to the machine. C. Wet cutting. Question 2. Exposure to which of the following may not result in lung disease? A. Asbestos. B. Bird droppings. C. Strong smells. D. Silica dust. The correct answer is. C strong smells question three there are many kinds of dust and fumes at work breathing them in over time can cause you to develop a occupational lung disease b occupational dermatitis c skin cancer d sore throat the correct answer is a occupational lung disease question four you need special respiratory protective equipment rpe to handle a chemical None has been provided. What should you do? A. Get on with the job, but try to work quickly. B. Do not start work until you have been given the correct RPE and training. C. Start the work but take a break now and again. D. Sniff the substance to see if it makes you feel ill. The correct answer is. B. Do not start work until you have been given the correct RPE and training. Question 5. Which of the following do you need to do to ensure that your mask works? A. Check it's the correct type needed. B. Pass a face fit test wearing the mask. C. Check you are wearing it correctly. D. All of these answers. The correct answer is. D. All of these answers. Question 6. The high levels of solvents in some paints and resins can cause. A. Headaches, dizziness and sickness. B lung problems c effects on other parts of your body d all of these answers the correct answer is d all of these answers question 7 which of these activities does not create silica dust which is harmful if breathed in a sawing timber and plywood b cutting curbs stone paving slabs bricks and blocks c breaking up concrete floors and screeds D. Chasing out walls and mortar joints or sweeping up rubble. The correct answer is. A. Sawing timber and plywood. Question 8. When drilling, cutting, sanding or grinding what is the best way to protect your long-term health from harmful dust? A. Use dust extraction or wet cut and wear light eye protection. B. Wear a FFP3 rated dust mask and impact goggles. C. Wear any disposable dust mask, hearing protection and impact goggles. D. Use dust extraction or wet cut. Wear a FFP3 rated dust mask, hearing protection and impact goggles. The correct answer is. D. Use dust extraction or wet cut. Wear a FFP3 rated dust mask, hearing protection and impact goggles. Question 9. If using on tool extraction to control dust from a power tool it is important to check that. A. The extraction unit is the correct type. B. The extraction filters are clear and the unit is extracting dust. C. You are using the power tool correctly. D. All of these answers. The correct answer is. D. All of these answers. Question 10. When drilling, cutting, sanding or grinding you can breathe in high levels of harmful dust these levels are likely to be highest when working a outside on a still day b outside on a windy day 
C. In a small room. D. In a large indoor space. The correct answer is C. In a small room. Question 11. You have finished your work and need to sweep up the dust created. What should you do? A. Dampen down the area. B. Make sure there is plenty of ventilation. C. Put your protective mask back on. D. All of the above. The correct answer is D. All of the above. Question 12. You are using water as part of dust control and run out. Should you a, carry on as you have nearly finished? B. Stop and refill with water. C. Ask everyone to clear the area and then carry on. D. Carry on but get someone to sweep up afterwards. The correct answer is B. Stop and refill with water. Question 13. When using power tools it is important to a, stop dust getting into the air. B. Stand downwind of any dust. C. Do the work quickly to limit dust exposure. D. Only undertake the work during damp or wet weather. The correct answer is a, stop dust getting into the air. Question 14. You have been asked to do some work that will create dust. What should you do? A. You should not do the work. Dust is highly dangerous. B. Use equipment that will eliminate or reduce the amount of dust whilst wearing correct personal protective equipment, PPE. C. Start work. No controls are needed as it's only dust. D. Work for short periods at a time. The correct answer is B. Use equipment that will eliminate or reduce the amount of dust whilst wearing correct personal protective equipment, PPE. Question 15. When using water to keep dust down when cutting you must ensure A. There is as much water as possible. B. The water flow is correctly adjusted. C. Somebody stands next to you and pours water from a bottle. D. Water is poured onto the surface to soak it, before you start cutting. The correct answer is B. The water flow is correctly adjusted. Question 16. If you use a power tool to cut or grind materials, why must the dust be collected and not get into the air? A. To save time and avoid having to clear up the mess. B. Most dust can be harmful if breathed in. C. The tool will go faster if the dust is collected. D. You do not need a machine guard if the dust is collected. The correct answer is B. Most dust can be harmful if breathed in. Question 17. Occupational asthma can stop you working again with certain substances. It is caused by A. Exposure to loud noise. B. Exposure to rat urine. C. Skin contact with any hazardous substance. D. Breathing in hazardous dust, fumes or vapors. The correct answer is D. Breathing in hazardous dust, fumes or vapors. Question 18. Pigeon droppings and nests, which can be hazardous to your health, are found in an area where you are required to work. You should A. Carry on with your work carefully. B. Stop work and seek advice. C. Try to catch the pigeons. D. Let them fly away before carrying on with your work. The correct answer is B. Stop work and seek advice. Question 19. What is the biggest cause of long-term health issues in the construction industry? A. Loud noise. B. Being struck by a vehicle. C. Slipping and tripping. D. Breathing in hazardous substances. The correct answer is D. Breathing in hazardous substances. Question 20. How long can you use the same disposable mask for? A. Five working days. B. Until it looks too dirty to wear. C. One day or one shift. D. 28 days. The correct answer is. C. One day or one shift. Congratulations. You have completed the respiratory risk questionnaire. Please continue with the next video in this series. Link is provided in the top right corner of this video.